the reason there weren't any points scored by the Rams in that game was because of an unbelievably good defensive game plan by Bill Belichick and Brian Flores. You cannot just throw away all those bad mistakes and basically saying they weren't making plays. What? They were <laughs> out thought. I, I think I think that kind of, in a way, makes Mike's point a little bit by saying that's not overly – I get what you're saying. that Because I agree. Yeah. This was the most you have seen – Wade Phillips or Tom Brady not be able to get a great pre-snap read Correct. Yes. because of what Wade Phillips was doing. A lot of it was post-snap, which to me was fantastic. It's brilliant. But, but to Mike's point, and I get it, yeah. it's not entertaining. It goes, it, it's not very entertaining football. I do it, agree with that, that. That's the only point I'm yeah. trying to make is all of those things are great, but they go sight unseen. Yeah. Yeah. Those right. are things that you appreciate, but it's like we always talk about. To me... Coaching in, in its essence in the NFL is the gap between what we know and what we see. And when you see a result that you can't quite explain, usually to me the middle ground from the outside looking in is exemplary coaching. The problem is exemplary coaching doesn't go out there and put back in a lob. It doesn't go right. throw down a lob it, off not the backboard. It doesn't highlight. catch a touchdown yeah. in the back of the yeah. end zone and toe tap around three defenders. Like it, it just it doesn't render in the same way, and that's okay. Let let me just say this about that, and I'm throwing out the disclaimer. I am not the audience the soup the NFL is trying right. to reach. You're right. That's I'm right. I'm throwing that out there, okay? Because I've been all in since I since I can remember watching football. So they don't have. To, I've never watched a game for an announcer. I've never watched a game to be. Uh, I, I I love the game. Okay, I lo I love the game. I I appreciated the brilliance of the coaching, and that was enough for me. Right. What drove me crazy yesterday including some of our colleagues here. Oh, this game is boring. <laughs> was. Oh, oh, entertain oh, yeah. me. Please make me want to watch. That's so much shut to up. Ask? Just shut up. If you don't want to watch, then don't watch. Go watch the Raptors and the Knicks. Go do something else. But don't sit there for four flipping hours with your eyes glued to the game and say, oh, this is so boring, but I can't stop watching. Oh, it's so boring. Just shut the hell up. Oh, wow, okay. I mean, give me a break. If you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. But don't watch the game and sit there and go, oh, I hate it. That's the worst. And you people that did that, you're the worst. The absolute worst. Yeah, Jerry, we'll tell them. I don't want to hear any of that garbage. If you don't want to watch the game, don't watch the game. But don't sit there watching the game and saying, oh, I'm so bored. I can't take it anymore. Give me a break. All right, I'm done. Trey Wingo's opinion does not reflect the opinion of the Golik and Wingo. Yes, staff. it does. No, no, it yes, doesn't. it no. does. I'm, that I, was straight listen, talk. Jerry, it does it? Straight talk it does. I, I'm, I'm not even going that far. Yeah. I'm not even going that far. Just wide cover stop your whining. The most dependable 4G LTE networks. Well wow. done. Chills. I, I, yeah, I, Chills. I'm not going to go that far. Woo. I will disagree with Jeff. Jeff said, Golik, you must be on an island. The game was boring. I didn't think so. But again, I understand the difference of entertainment and boring. The commercial stunk. I thought there were some very good commercials. We'll get into that. And the Halftime show is a swing and a miss. I disagree with disagree that as well. With that as so, well. Jeff, we disagree on everything. Yeah. So, which is kind of how, but how these things work. But thanks. <laughs> That's exactly right. See, we want him to listen and, and, and be part of this, Trey. We want him to do it. I want him to listen back to Trey's speech and just take that as the oh, rebuttal right oh, there. Oh, we'll right? have that cut. We'll be playing that a little later. That was awesome. Look, that uh, and the, I, the, I can still see the vein in his head. The shade of red that you turned. Uh, I don't know if you were more upset about that or Ricky Fowler with the triple bogey. How do you have you a know? triple bogey? That was, yeah. that was the most Ricky Fowler win yeah. of all time. <laughs> Just skates in <laughs> with a, with a two-stroke lead. Give Woo! me a break. Yeah, we're rolling now.